Well, this Liverpool save is going pretty well. We haven't lost a game all season, and I'm hoping to keep that run going. But in today's episode, we face Shakhtar away from home and Leicester at home, so we could be potentially ending that streak. I wouldn't put a lot of money on it because um, we should be winning both of these games, but you, you never know. Hey guys, and welcome back to the fifth episode of the FM22 Liverpool Beta Save with me, Raxo FM, where today we are facing Shakhtar in the Champions League and then Leicester City in the Premier League in two very important games, considering, considering the fact that we are top of the Premier League and top of our Champions League group every single point is absolutely crucial before we go into those two games make sure you do smash the like button on today's video subscribe to you so that you don't miss the daily football manager content that's coming your way on this channel and can we please smash 15 likes on today's video I've, I've taken it back up we went down to like 12 last episode now we're going back up to 15 because i've realized the support is ridiculous we've got like 50 likes on the first episode Surely we can bring it back down to 15 in today's episode. I think I think that's a high target, but a very doable one. Since last time we saw each other, I've played quite a few games of football, including, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember what, what, what the last game I played with you guys was. I want to say Brighton. No, it was West Ham. I simulated that game. Yep, no, got, got it in the back now. We've managed to beat Shakhtar, Norwich, Leeds, but then drew to Watford away from home. Very disappointing one there. Managed to come away with a lot of XG. I don't think that's how you say it. A high XG is what you would say. But didn't quite get the finishing touch. Didn't get the points. Don't even know what I was saying. Someone just came to the door. My, my partner's disturbed me. Came in, been like, go answer the door. It was, it was just some old man trying to do a radio survey. It was very lovely. Very lovely. She could have dealt with that herself. I'm very disappointed in her. Interrupting my recording. This is... I've already probably gotten about three people click off because I'm talking about this, but... We're going to push on anyway, and we're going to play this game against Shakhtar. And I've already got my team set up. Look, look at me. Look how good I am. It's, it's a little disappointing because we do have a couple of injuries. So a lot of players not available, and we don't even have 12 players to put into the squad. So Joe Gomez, Fabinho, and Thiago all out for decent periods of time. Three to six weeks for Thiago. Then we've got seven weeks to ten weeks for Fabinho, but only two to three weeks for Gomez. He did just come back from an injury, though, so it is slightly concerning that um, he keeps getting those knocks here and there. But not to worry, we've still got a great, solid squad. I think we're coming away with the win. Let's jump into it, and let's get all three points to... I, I don't know, this this one could confirm our place on top of the, the group. I, ge I guess it could. I mean, depends on the point system. I'll have to take a look when we jump into this game, but first let's take a look at the Shakhtar lineup. Malus, Traore, Tete, really good player in there. A couple of people I recognise, no one too crazy, but some decent players here and there. And we've got the first chance of the game, and as Yen as I put the ball into the mixer, doesn't quite get the header onto it, whoever that was, but Simakas has just scored an absolute rocket, just fires that home. He's got no regard for the keeper's safety, he, he, he's willing to take his hand out with that shot. And I don't blame him at all. If it's going to get us a goal, that's brilliant. What a hit, my son. Oh, on the left peg, past the goalkeeper. He'll be disappointed to have been beaten at his near post. But I'm not disappointed at all, boys and girls. We are currently sitting on 12 points from four games, I want to say. So I think if we won this one, it could confirm us to go through. But probably wouldn't confirm us on the top of the table. So, you know, we're playing for a wee bit here. Let's see see if we can keep up the good form that we've already started this game with. But it is Shakhtar on the ball right now. And they are at home. I don't know if Ukraine is the most insane place to come away from home. Eh? It looks a, a wee bit barren in the crowd. But, uh, you know, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They've just had a decent shot against us. And actually, the XG is a lot higher than ours. Considering the fact that our goal probably had the XG of 0 0.01 or something like that. But now we have a free kick, and I'm sure our XG will go up after this. Yen is I stepping over it, takes a shot, and he finishes it. It's 2-0, maybe a wee bit against the runner player. I do feel kind of bad for being this high up, but not bad enough to, you know, quit the game, restart it, and um, re-record this clip, because 
I'm happy to take three points where I can get them. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Five minutes ago in this first half, and it looks like we are going to be ending it well and truly ahead of the side. And uh, we're, we're showing our class. Even with a rotated squad, even with a lot of injuries, we are still a dominant force in every single game. We are competing. In. And as Yanis, I get in a goal, which I love to see. I don't know if it said it was his first goal, but it could have been, as I don't think he's popped up too much attackingly but he's definitely been a player that i back i think he's got a lot of good ability really really nice stats on his card so i'm very happy to have him a part of the squad but i do want to see him improving just a wee bit and getting a couple more goals and assists here and there and he's already done it in today's episode and he's already gotten a couple of good balls into the mixer as well you know he, he, he's a he's a talent that's for sure and not too old as well i like what he brings to the table 30 minutes to go in this game I'm thinking the first substitute needs to be made, and it's going to be it's going to be Van Dyke to come off. This is my typical one. I, I think I always make this sub when I'm doing a a Champions League game. It's just just the easy decision, you know. We need to give Van Dyke a rest. We are already winning the game. Williams likes a bit of game time. You know, everyone wins in this situation. As long as we don't drop points because we've made that sub, I think that's going to be fine and dandy. And with balls like that into the area, I don't think we're going to be dropping points. One of them is going to drop to one of our players, but the chance still isn't over. They've, they've given them. I feel bad. I feel bad. They've just given away a free kick in a dangerous position. Got in the red card. Is Yanadai going to score another one? No, we don't even get to see the highlight. That's disappointing. Clearly, it wasn't even like on target or anything but 10 minutes to go it's it's all wrapped up boys and girls i'm not even worried about this we we have won this game we have well and truly dominated the opponent away from home shown our class shown our ability and we are through to the next round of the champions league i don't think we'll be confirmed as top spot because my quick maths suggested that we wouldn't be but i think we'll have the queue next to our name now Yes, we do qualify for the first round. I'm absolutely thrilled with that. And I think as long as we win one of our next two games, we are through. Yeah, absolutely. If we win this next game against Atletico Madrid, of course we're through. But if we lose it and then we still win against Club Bruges in our final game of the Champions League, we are still through to the next round. So looking positive for us in terms of the Champions League. Also looking positive for us in the in the Carabao Cup. I haven't mentioned that, but we're versus Burnley in the quarterfinal. I back ourselves to get to the semi-final, maybe go all the way to the final. But for now, we have to focus on our first game at hand. It is against Leicester City. They're down in 11th place. They're a good squad, though. Let's not downplay them. Let's try and win it. And let's come away with another three points. All right, let's get back-to-back -back wins in this episode. If we want to stay top of the Premier League table, we need to come away with all three points. Let's go. Let's beat Leicester. This is the team that we're using for today's match. And you'll notice Yanazai on the right-hand side. And that's because Mohamed Salah picked up just a wee bit of a knock. And I don't want to aggravate it. Don't want to risk it. So I'm trying Yanazai out on the right-hand side. I imagine if we need to, Salah will certainly be making way onto the pitch. But for now, we'll give we'll give Yanazai a crack. You know, he scored the free kick in there. He played, played well in the last match. I'm sure he can do well against this Leicester City side, despite the fact that they do have a very strong 11. We've also got Kanate starting at centre-back, so fingers crossed he does a good job as well. But looking at that team, I think it's very beatable, but there are still a lot of good players in there. You know, your Jamie Vardy's of the world, your Ndidi's, your Tielemans, uh, even Sayonchu and Fofana are really good players. Actually, a lot of really good players in that team, but I think we've got a wee bit more of an edge on them in today's match. And with four shots to their zero after 15 minutes, I think it is showing that we'll, it will only be a matter of time before, before we see our first chance. And it is coming now. Musiala tries to attack that corner but can't quite get his noggin onto it. But Mane picks it straight back up. Running past the defenders but playing it back into Robertson. Robertson into Kese. Henderson who's going to hit it from range and he's going to score from range. When does Jordan Henderson need to score? Very, very rarely. Finally got that first goal for England, and he finally gets a goal in this season for Liverpool. I, I wonder how many goals he has actually scored for Liverpool. I know he doesn't, like, you know, never score for them, but he's not exactly hitting them left, right, and centre. But that one is a very fine hit, and it manages to put us 1-0 up in this game, which is all we need to go top of the table. But let's pile on the pressure. Let's get a couple more goals. Let's think about that goal difference for later in the season. 
and let's attack them right here and now. 10 more minutes to go in this half. Yanazai standing over the free kick and he puts a decent ball in. But Virgil van Dijk can't get his header on target. I still think there's one more chance in us though in this half. We've got the momentum. We've got the pressure. We're still getting shots in on target. Is it going to be the chance? I told you there was going to be a chance, boys and girls. I'm a genius. Yanazai, Alexander-Arnold gets the ball taken away from him. And I thought he was going to lunge in and maybe with that yellow card he was going to get sent off. But luckily hasn't happened. And we're back on the ball. Robertson. Down the left hand side, he's, I think he's got the highest average rating for us, and that assist is certainly going to help it. Oh my goodness, the, the, the midfield duo of Kese and Henderson are dominating in this game. Two brilliant finishes. This one, I'd say, I, I don't know, arguably better. It depends on what you're into. You know, this is a lovely finesse, bit of curl into the back of the net, whereas Henderson was more of, you know, brute power, brute force just smashing it into the back of the net and thank goodness they did not score just before the halftime break that really would have annoyed me but luckily they haven't and we are 2-0 up as we go into the break and I, I, we've done brilliantly we've we've dominated them we've made sure they've only had four shots to our 15 now i think we're only going to add to our tally in the second half and and Yanazai is playing quite well i think the man on the left hand side should be worried about making an, a, a, a substitution with his name on it I, I don't i tried to save that sentence but i didn't really start it very well but you, you get what i was trying to say there and i think i saved it in the end it wasn't, wasn't too bad so i don't choose on the ball here they're playing it all the way back to schmeichel they can't get out and we've won the header played it over mane can't get onto the end of it though but we win it straight back musiala sane sorry not sane mane yanazai and it is musiala and yanazai does end up getting the assist he's played brilliantly in this episode getting the goal getting the assist and playing as a potentially first start in the Premier League season. I'm not sure. It might not be, but he's played well, that's for sure. Mane with a good ball over the top. He cuts it back, plays it into Musiala, and he cannot miss that from that range. His third goal of the season, really good signing that man has been, and he's only going to get better. Uh, I'd recommend picking him up if you're thinking about getting a central attacking midfielder for the future in your saves. And the end is I could get another assist here. He doesn't know. The header doesn't go anywhere near the goal. I think it was headed away by one of the Leicester City boys. But Musiala almost adds to his tally there. Hitting the woodwork, doing something that definitely troubled the goalkeeper. And with 20 minutes to go, I am now going to make my first substitution. Jota is going to come on for Mane, just not having the best day at the office. And Adeyemi is going to make way, make an appearance instead of Yanazai. He's, he's played a really good game, Yanazai. But he is looking a wee bit tired. And it's, it's good to get Adeyemi some actual game time on the pitch, see what he can do. And we're having a chance straight away. Musiala running past the defender. Is that a pen? That's not a pen, but we've still got the ball, so it doesn't, doesn't matter too much. We could be attacking here. Robertson looking for some space. Is he going to put a ball in? Is he going to play it back? He does play it back. Henderson, Kese, we've got it to Alexander-Arnold. Still looking for some way to break down this defense. It, it's just not happening. Is this a chance, or is this just us knocking the ball around? It ends with a pretty lackluster shot, and Schmeichel collects it very comfortably. I've still got one substitute to make. I think, I think I'm going to have to make that in the next couple of minutes, just for fitness reasons. But, you know, no one's too tired, but I'm sure if I don't make a substitution, we're going to have some tired legs at some point in time. And it's Vardy not being able to win that knockdown there, leading to us getting another attacking chance. I'm just expecting a goal at this point. It's Musiala, hits it against the defender, whips it in, Diego... Diego Jota is it Diogo Jota I don't know it's spelt very weirdly but I was confident we were going to score there but now actually Liverpool could be conceding the goal as Leicester are attacking us but you know within the time it took for me to say that we quickly got the ball straight back Eddie Emi can't quite outpace Castagna and this is a chance that's gone on for a while and it's ended with a goal. Diogo Jota, uh, Diogo, Diego. It must just be Diego. Like, I've never heard of anyone calling Diogo, but it, it could be Diogo. Diogo. Maybe it's Diago. Might be Diago. I don't, I'm not sure. Jota is his name. That's that's all I know. That's for sure. And he has managed to put it into the back of the net to make it 4 0 on this night. And we're going to make our last substitution. And it's going to be. Callum Chambers to come on, Alexander Arnold's coming off, he's, he's played well but he's on a yellow card, do not want to get that man sent off, he's, he's a crucial player for us, let's all be honest, he's one of, our, one of our best players and still improving which is absolutely mental to think about but this is going well for us in this match, although Lookman is running at us, it's good to see that Football Manager still creates 
fake highlights when you make a tactical substitution because that ball's just been kicked straight out of play. Yep, no, you're not fooling me with that one, Sports Interactive. That's that's getting reported as a bug. I think it's been a bug for the last couple of years. And we've made our last substitution. And now we've got an injury. So Musiala is going to have to play on the on the right-hand side for the last few minutes. But I, I, I'm more just disappointed about the fact that Adeyemi's got an injury. Let's hope it's not for too long. Let's hope that we don't concede a goal here. We've been all over them. We've been dominating. And we do end with a clean sheet and a 4-0 win. I told you that I wanted to score a couple of goals. But now I'm nervous. I, I, th I don't think it's going to be too serious. I think it's going to be a, a couple of weeks max. So Adeyemi picked up a knock. What five weeks? Oh, we have gotten a lot of injuries in this save, and um, I'm definitely happy I signed Callum Chambers because he is um he's a defender that we need at the moment. But with the loss of Adiemi, now I think Harvey Elliott's going to be the youngster making appearances on the bench, and I'm hoping that before the end of the next before the start of the next episode, we we'll have a couple of these players back in the lineup. So that we can actually compete in the matches that we're going to be playing, which are going to be against Manchester City and then facing Club Bruges in our final game of the Champions League season. Should already be qualified as long as we beat Atletico Madrid, but you know, could could be interesting either way. But for now, this is where we're ending this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the Rex FM YouTube channel so you don't miss the daily football manager content that will be coming your way with this save, as well as transfer guides and some simulations here and there. I think maybe I, I might be have already uploaded like a simulation video i'm planning on doing it but whether or not i'm actually going to get off my chuff and and do something about it is, is a whole nother story but this story has ended the episode is over thanks so much for watching once again and i'll see you all later